In this practical example, you will apply geometric and dimensional constraints to define the dynamic block for an ejector pin. This kind of pin is used for molds. So let's see how to create this block. Open the ejector pin DWG file and double click the drawing to open the block editor. Now in the block editor you'll start the block definition process. Let's begin by applying the required geometric constraints to keep the geometry precisely in the block. Apply the coincident, vertical, horizontal, parallel, tangent and symmetric constraints. See how the drawing looks now. The next step is to insert dimensional constraints in the block. The dimensions are inserted using the linear constraint. Let's first measure the pin diameter. Enable the linear tool, select these two points and type the dimensions as 1.5. To conclude, you need to define how many grips will be displayed for the selected block. Let's choose one for the value, then only one grip will be displayed. First you insert this measurement and all others will be based on it. Then define the pin head thickness to be the same as the pin diameter. So you need to enable the linear tool to do this and define two points. Now, instead of inserting a value, define the length to be equal to the diameter of the pin. Type the expression D1 instead of the dimension. Define the pin head diameter to be two times larger than the pin. You can proceed the same way as before, but type two times D1 instead of the dimension. The last linear dimension to be inserted is the pin length. Let's display only one grip for this dimension. Then to conclude, you measure the fillet. Let's enable the radial tool, select the radius, define the expression D1 divided by 3, so this radius will be three times smaller than the pin diameter. Specify just one grip for display. After all constraints are inserted, you can now test the block. See how when you select the block, some grips are displayed. When we click them, we change the dimensions of the block. These dimensions can be defined visually by clicking and dragging the grips. You can also define the dimensions by typing the desired value in this box. So in this practical example, you've learned how to create a parametric block linked to its dimensions. Thereby, whenever any dimension is changed, all other dimensions will also be changed. This makes the part keep their proportions.
Practice your acquired knowledge while studying this module. Create new projects and enhance your skills.